Hello, I'm Karen Weikert, and it's my privilege to welcome you today to Midland Cares 2020 Memory Tree. It's very different this year, uh, as it's been a crazy year, but the reality is life and death still go on, and we know that at this holiday time, as beautiful as it is and as packed full of joy as we want it to be, uh, it's sometimes difficult as we're remembering those people that we've loved and lost. And so today, we are glad that you've joined together with us so that we can take just a few moments to remember those that we've loved. I'm Carrie Lisinski, and I'm going to be doing the reading. We are not alone in our grief, our tears, and our memories. We reach out to each other with love, with understanding, and with hope. Those we've loved who have died unite us. Your pain becomes my pain. Your joy becomes my joy. Your hope is my hope. Some of us are far along in our grieving. Others still experience grief so fresh and intensely painful that we feel helpless and see no hope. Some of us have found our faith to be a source of strength. Some of us are angry, some filled with guilt or in deep depression. Others glow with inner peace. Whatever pain we bring to this gathering, it is pain we share. Even as we struggle to rebuild our lives, we reach out to one another in love. We will share joy as well as pain. We will share peace of mind as well as anger. We will share faith as well as doubt. We will help one another to grow as well as grief. We are not alone. Savior is more than an 
Hello, my name is Delmar White, and I serve as one of the chaplains here at Midland. It's a pleasure to be with you this afternoon. As we think about Memory Tree and the celebration, it's a little different this year, but yet we're grateful for the opportunity to be able to come and support you and care for you and provide words of comfort. As we think about this season that we're entering into, holidays, we know it can be difficult and with the challenge of COVID-19, it's even harder for many families as we are unable to be together and congregate together. But it's also a time that we use to reflect and remember our loved ones and remember their smiles, their laughter, remember the times that we did have together. I'll read to you, dear, just a moment, a poem that uh, we picked up on and we wanted to share it with you and then we'll give a few words of elaboration. It's titled Remembrances. We cannot feel saddened over the loss of those we love without first remembering the joy of loving them. The real sadness would have been never having had them in our lives at all. Remembering is a journey that the heart takes back into a time that was, and our thoughts are the only tickets needed to ride. We who have truly loved are blessed. And so I encourage you today as you make it through these holiday seasons and with the struggles and joys and ups and downs to do that, to remember your loved ones. Remember them, remember the moments of joy and laughter that you had together. And let them serve as bridges to carry you from one point of grief to the other. We're also mindful that Grief gives gifts. And that sounds strange that grief would give gifts, but it does. When we remember, when you remember our loved ones, those are gifts that grief gives along the way. Oftentimes we find it difficult when we do remember to see if we will smile. But I guarantee you that as you remember your loved ones in places and events and moments, that's exactly what will happen. Smiles will come to your face as you remember the good times. You remember those moments where they may have worked your nerves a little. But oh, what you would give, what we would give just to have those moments back again. That's the gift of grief that provides you and I opportunity to remember our loved ones and those moments. And with that, we are able to be encouraged to make it to the next day. So hang on to those memories. Let them serve you well. And as you remember your loved one, as you remember your loved ones, know that they're not really gone. They're constantly with you in thought, in your hearts, and in your memories as well. Knowing that though physically they may not be with you, You'll hear them in the laughter. You'll see them when family is able to gather again, once again. Sometimes when you look in the mirror, you see a reflection of your loved one. Your laughter, your joy, your conversations, even scents of persons or perfume or cologne can be a serve as a reminder of your loved one. So during this holiday season, as I conclude, we just want you to know that you have gifts that grief gives you along the way. And those gifts are your remembrances. When all the world 
is a hopeless jungle and the ranger I've stumbled all around heaven opens a magic lane when all the clouds darken up the skyway there's a rainbow highway to be found leading from your window pane to a place behind the sun just a step beyond the rain Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I've heard of once in a lullaby. Somewhere over the rainbow skies are blue, and those dreams that you dare to dream. Someday I wish upon a star Wake up where the clouds are far Behind me Where troubles surmount like lemon drops Oh, way above the chimney tops that's where you find me somewhere over the rainbow. Beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why? My name is Mitchell Skidmore, and this is Sarah Wood. We are the grief and loss counselors here at Midland Care at the Center for Hope and Healing. Many of us are feeling a sense of loss and disconnect during this pandemic. As we light the candles, we would like to extend these thoughts of hope to comfort you during this holiday season. As we light the first candle, we hope for you joy in abundance and laughter. For laughter cures our ills and joy makes our spirits soar. As we light the second candle, we hope for you a sigh when you need one. For a sigh clears the heart as a cough clears the throat. And with a sigh comes acceptance of what we cannot change. As we light the third candle, we hope for you tears when you need them. For tears clear the eyes to see the stars and cleanse the soul to let healing begin. As we light the fourth candle, we hope for you serenity 
for fights and wars start in individual breasts, and that is where they must end. As we light the fifth candle, we hope for you wisdom with our priceless gift, the gift of choice. We should use it well every day in word and deed. As we light the sixth candle, we hope for you patience. For most troubles pass if we wake them out, and success comes with persistence. As we light the seventh candle, we hope for you courage. For there may be pitfalls and dangers ahead. Problems can only be solved when they are faced. As we light the eighth candle, we pray for you compassion. For we cannot help others until we understand them. We cannot understand them until we walk in their shoes. As we light the ninth candle, we pray for you a willingness to work. For work turns dreams into reality. Whether those dreams are ours or belong to those who we can help. As we light the tenth candle, we pray for you unwavering faith. For faith shapes our morals, our destiny, and draws us closer to God. As we light the eleventh candle, we pray for you a mind full of hope. For hope determines our attitudes, sets our goals, and creates our ideals. As we light this twelfth and final candle, we pray for you a heart so full of love that you must give some away to those whose paths you cross. Hello, my name is Sean Sullivan. Thank you so much for attending or watching this year's 2020 Memory Tree event. As has already been said, this year, 2020, has been an incredibly difficult year. We all have experienced so much loss and so much upheaval in our lives. For those of you that have lost a loved one or had a death of a loved one, we know this also has been an extremely difficult year and tough year. Um, it was already tough, but in a global pandemic, we know that you may have not had the normal support system that you may have had. Uh, we hope that as you go through this holiday season that you will rely and uh, call the Midland Care Center for Hope and Healing if you need it and you need that additional support, we are here for you. The center offers many support services and offers individual and grief loss counseling for all ages. It offers adult uh, support groups and many other support services. Please, as you go through this season, and if you need it, please call our grief and loss counselors and our staff and volunteers as you go through this difficult time. My name is Thea Parks and I will be reading the closing poem. To the living, I am gone. To the sorrowful, I will never return. To the angry, they were cheated. But to the joyful, I am at peace. And to the faithful, I never left. I cannot speak, but I can listen. I cannot be seen, but I can be heard. So as you stand upon a shore, gazing at a beautiful sea, remember me. As you look in awe at a mighty forest and its grand majesty, remember me. As you look upon a flower and admire its simplicity, remember me. Remember me in your heart, your thoughts. Remember the close, loving times we shared, the times we cried, the times we quarreled, the times we laughed. For in these times that you gently remember me, I am not gone. Mm -hmm.